Hey there, my young friends. This is Pastor Aaron coming to you for a little chapel talk, home edition, as we are, most of us, staying in our houses, staying away from germs outside. And I just wanted to bring a little bit of a fun story to you for the time that we are apart, since we, we weren't able to be together in chapel. So can we get our hands ready like we normally do in chapel? Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Fold them in your lap, lap, lap. And please pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for always being with me and wanting to be with me to remind me of your love for me all the time. In your name we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. Very good. Now you remember what amen means, right? Yes! That's my prayer. Well, my friends, today I have a little story, a story that we've we've uh, been learning recently, a Bible story about Jesus and the little children. So I'm going to read this for you, and then I'm going to make sure that you can see the pictures, okay? Here we go. This, this Bible story is found in Matthew 19 and Mark 10 and Luke 18 for those parents and grandparents out there who would like to... Uh, use the actual Bible and look that up for yourself. Here's the story. So many people wanted to see Jesus that they were squishing him. You ever been around someone who you squish because you like to be with them so much? I'll bet you're with them right now. There were sick people and sad people and well people and happy people. And there were people who brought their children to meet Jesus. Young people just like you. No children, Jesus' helper said to the people. Jesus doesn't have time for them. Jesus heard what his helpers said. He stopped them right there. Let the little children come to me, Jesus said. And he began to bless the children. Do you see the picture of the children there just fine? Yeah. Children are important to God. You are important to God. Children are important to Jesus. You are important to Jesus. He loves them. He loves you. So there's our story. I think we've even heard the story in chapel before, but it's a good thing to remember. And I've got a couple questions for you. If the adult that is helping you watch this wants to pause this video so you can ask these questions and answer them. I'm going to leave a little space in between asking the question and giving the answer. So here's the first question. Why did Jesus' helpers want to send the children away? Take a moment to answer it now. So why did Jesus' helpers want to send the children away? because they felt like Jesus should spend time with adults and older people who could understand more. And actually, Jesus wanted to spend time with the little children. Here's the next question. What did Jesus say to his helpers? Take a moment to answer it. Okay, so what did Jesus say to his helpers? He said, let the little children come to me. Let them be part of my life. And that invitation to be part of Jesus' life is for you too, my friends. Last question. How do you know that Jesus loves you? It's a big question, isn't it? I'll bet some adults could take a long time to answer this one too. So take your time and answer. How do you know that Jesus loves you? I'll bet there are many ways that you could answer that question. And so I'm just going to give you a couple ways that I could answer that question. How do you know that Jesus loves you? I know Jesus loves me because he has given his promises to me. He sent Jesus to die on a cross for me and rise from the grave for me. He gives me family to live with and to love, who love to give me hugs and smiles and say nice things. He gives me friends. He gives me neighbors. He gives me a house 
and food and everything that I need, I have many ways to know that Jesus loves me. Do you know some of those things too? I certainly pray that you do. So there's a couple things that, I, that you can do while you're at home. And I'm going to give you some ideas about how you can share God's love. So here's what this says. Did you know that when you show kindness to others, you share Jesus' love? There are lots of ways you can show kindness to others. You show kindness when you help someone. That's number one, when you help someone. Can you help someone today? You show kindness when you, number two, listen to someone, whether that's listening to your parents, your grandparents, your teachers, people who want to take care of you when you listen to them so they can take care of you better, or when you just listen to someone else's heart when they want to talk about something that is sad, or even when it's something that's happy, you can be a good listening ear. You show kindness when you listen to someone. And finally, you show kindness when you invite someone to play with you. Do you have someone you can invite to play with you in your house? I hope you do. And even if it's your mom, your dad, your grandparents, whoever you're staying with, I'm sure that you can invite someone to play with you for a little while. So here's something I'd like you to do in the next week or so. Can you draw a picture of one way you can show Jesus' love to someone else? How about you do that? Take some time to do that. And could you do me another favor? Ask the adult who is helping you watch this to take a picture with their camera or their phone of the picture that you're drawing and send it in to me or Miss Linda. Do you think you could do that? I'd love to see what you come up with. Now, here's the end of our devotion time. Let's say this prayer together. Can you say it with me? Can you fold your hands? Here we go. Dear Jesus... Thank you for loving me so much. I love you too. In Jesus' name, and all God's people said, Amen. Well, my friends, it's been great to spend a little bit of time with you. I hope you're doing okay at home and staying safe and well, and I will see you next time. Bye. Jesus loves you.